Oh, she mad mad now. Ooh, is she like Ant-Man? <laughs> who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy you done did it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -uh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Liana Sukula, so that I geek. Welcome to my channel. Let's dive right into the third episode of Jupiter's Legacy, Netflix original series. It's been so phenomenal thus far. You know what I'm saying? Planning to watch four episodes today. Four episodes tomorrow. This is... I'm halfway through. Today's duty. Anyway, the previous episode, we ended on such a cliffhanger when it came to the whole island story on how they got their abilities. But somehow, he got the location and the knowledge about the island through his dead dad. The show is definitely a daddy issue type of show. Him and Brandon going through the most him and chloe are going through the most him and his wife are going through the most also uh the black superhero in the wheelchair and his daughter also going through but it seems like he understands what brandon did more than his own dad the police guy understood what brandon did more than his dad it seems like everybody's on the same page except the main protagonist it seems and that's gonna be a big conflict throughout the show and i feel like if the season doesn't end with the new heroes versus the old heroes or just him versus the new heroes for what he believes in he even told the news of 78 percent of the population they wrong like i mean i'm I, i'm starting to see where his cracks in his foundations are he really loves the way people perceive him you know what i'm saying so he's willing to sacrifice uh his his life his family his beliefs on the way he's perceived the way he believes his moral compass is bigger than anybody in his life probably even himself and that's gonna really cost him yeah he's like steve rogers of the show anyway let's dive right into the next episode are you hearing this mate is sky fox alive or dead Who's this? If you're pulling a Phil Collins, actually, I prefer the classics. Is he part of a rock band? Why are you introducing a new character out of nowhere? One gig line, it goes well. Yeah, but it's just a song. He's a criminal. And we're following your rules. Who's the big man? What's that? I'm sure people who read the comics are like, "Come on, dude! How could you not know such and such?" I didn't read the comics, but I'm loving the show. What is this weapon? Yo, it teleports? Ooh, he just shot his homie. A hero showed up? Oh, it's Utopian. Damn. Oh, it's melting. He failed the mission. It's a great way to show you in the past. The aspect ratio is bigger. Are they gonna show more of Skyfall? In the present day, or is it just flashbacks? Sky Fox. I don't know why I said Skyfall. Like, the James Bond movie. Damn. Dude, was rich rich. Yo. He's like Bruce Wayne, but more persona than hero. Is he gonna fund the trip to the island? It would only make sense. Is he obsessed with the island? Rich people judging rich people. Love to see it. How are there more people with powers? Did they unlock powers for everybody, not just themselves? Or random people? His name is Hutch? Is he talking to his dead dad? Damn, he looks awful. He's totally losing it. Man, he's really losing it, losing it. It's basically PTSD. Just tragic backstories for all of them. Only child problems. Damn, you slap on him sharing? That's tough. Is he gonna decipher the map? Who's boss man? Damn. Don't threaten his family. What's his power? Damn. They just like eating each other out. Damn. It wasn't easy. Is he the only one without abilities? Ooh. Did he just hit a racing gun? Damn, these guys can run. What? Where do you get a van like that? Damn, ran into Chloe. 
Damn, she doesn't even care the people inside. What does she? They just attacking her. Oh, she mad mad now. Oh, is she like Ant Man? <laughs> oh, did he? <laughs> Damn, she's powerful. Damn, she got the briefcase of the drugs. So that's how their story connects. Cause of Chloe, it's a puzzle. They twins. He figured out the map. He's normal now. Tell him about the map. He's gonna have another seizure. Damn, what are these seizures telling him exactly? What's the windmill? How is he still living this life if he's broke? Sheldon's gonna get you all superpowers. Why are they blaming him? Damn, he messed up again. Is he gonna whoop their asses? Damn. He controls it. The staff is so cool. Damn. Did he kill Big Man? If he could do this this whole time, why was he playing scared? Oh, he just decided to go full on. Does he want revenge? Are we gonna see him poor now? He's not gonna have those eggs. Oh, so he's just... Damn, is it the last day? His god is Alfred. Sweet. What is he making? He's helping his dad? Damn, his dad is Sky Fox? What a twist. Hodge's dad is Sky Fox? So much happened this episode. This episode was mostly about Sky, uh, Hodge and the flashbacks. It's basically about father and son. Yeah, it's about father and son. Mostly focusing on George and Hodge. Is Hodge his name or Hodge? Either way, you know who I'm talking about. It was a great episode. I was wondering why they bringing in a new person out of nowhere. But now it makes so much sense. It's all connected. That's why Chloe said, I know you. Oh, so much things are, put, are coming together. The staff is so cool. So much was happening in this episode. It's the show is building up to something. It's building up to something. Yo, like if you like my reaction, subscribe if you're not subscribed to show. It's, it's just something else. But to dive right into the next episode, make sure to check that out. If you're watching it the day I posted it. I'm posting it the day after. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Wow.